Yo, what is up you guys? This is your guy Davin the Geek and today I am doing a tutorial on the bone tool inside of Adobe's Flash CS4. And what the bone tool allows you to do is take any image like say say so um uh, an arm. Let's draw an arm here or something. I know it's not the best arm, but you get the gist of what I'm trying to say here. Um I'm just drawing an arm for you guys or something. Let me fill it in. Uh, oh, wait. Okay. Now, this is a arm right here. I know it's not the best arm, but I know I just did this for you guys. Um, get an understanding of what I'm doing. But um, this is a arm. And what the bone tool allows you to do is allow you it allows you to pretty much animate this arm in any form or move it in any form that you want like you see it's just a still picture but i have the bone tool selected i just selected the bone tool over here and now what i'm going to do is place the points of which i want the bones to be you know in the arm so what you're going to want to do is you know, you know, and this applies different to um what you guys are drawing or what you have. So you're gonna have to play with this tool a little after you know the tutorial. So yeah, you press down. Oh wait, maybe make sure. Well, make sure you you got everything selected first. There you go. Um, you gotta have it selected like this first. You know, broken apart. But um, you're gonna come over here, grab your grab your bone tool, and you're gonna place a point hold it and you hold it you know you hold it down and you pull it to wherever you want and you let go and it's going to turn pink and you're going to come to this point right here you're going to press down and you're going to pull again you know you're going to hold it and you're going to pull it like you just did the first one okay now i'm going to come over here and grab the um selection tool and now it allows me to manipulate the arm in any fashion that i want so I can go like this. I can bend it. See now I can bend the arm. And now I can like go like that with it. But there's a weird thing about the bend tool. I mean not the bend tool. The bone tool. Is that it distorts your image. Like you see how it's getting distorted. When it's all um, being manipulated. And one thing. Everything you know has to be on one layer. You know, your colors and all that stuff have to be on one layer. They can't be on the bottom, you know, of the um, outline and stuff. So, yeah, they have to be all on one layer, just so you know. So, yeah, what was I? Um, you see how it can bend, but it alters it and it looks all messed up. I mean, I'm sure some people wouldn't mind that, but, you know, if you want to get a professional look, you're going to want to um, have a cleaner image than that or something, you know. Okay, you're going to have to put every part of the arm in a symbol, and then you're going to place all the symbols on one layer, you know, one frame, and you place the bone tool on top of it. Um, I hope I have time to show you guys this, so let me try to show you guys this real quick. Okay, let me get rid of this layer. Okay, I just got rid of the arm layer. Now... Let's draw another fist. Okay, I'm going to color that. And now I'm going to turn this into a. If F, I'm going to hit F8 and turn it into a graphic symbol. Call it hand. Oops, my bad. I'm typing this. I'm typing with one hand here. I'm laying down right now. So, um, I'm going to create a new folder and I'm going to name it Vardy. Put my pen in my mouth there, sorry about that. And I'm going to save it there. And now I just created a symbol. It's, where's my symbols? Uh, da, 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 da. Okay, there we go. Um, now there's the hand, and it's, it's inside the symbol. I mean, inside the library here. And now I want the forearm. Now I gotta draw the forearm. So let's go back to our color right here. Let me 
the forearm and now I'm going to select it let me get a there we go F8 I'm gonna put um, arm select the existing folder okay now we have arm and you're gonna have to edit these things so you won't have like lines and stuff right here I mean all you have to do is just get rid of that yeah you know erase it and stuff you can also edit these symbols um and let's get the you know the what is it called the bicep I believe or let's draw that in let's make this guy buff this arm buff Just name it anything because I already have one called arm and I'm trying to save time right here because I do not have a lot of time to do this um, review I'm not review tutorial okay now that we have the arm complete and again you're gonna have to fix these up when you, you know if you're doing an arm or something like that gonna have to get those lines out of there to um, get the arm in a, the um, right way Okay, sorry about that. I had to um, go get the phone real quick. And okay, I'm back now. Okay, now that you have all of your um, symbols, you're going to grab the bone tool and you're going to place it, you know, place them down like you did earlier. Put one right here, pull, place one right here, and there you go. And you can't place another one right here because there's nothing else connecting this symbol you know it's not going to allow you because these are symbols you're dealing with um, it's just the way Adobe did it themselves I mean I didn't make it like that they made it like that so yeah I hope they like fixed that problem but yeah it's the way they made it so yeah and now you can bend the arm in any direction that you want you see there the arm the hand is going off crazy a little right there but yeah but um you can bend it and it won't get all distorted it's just gonna lay on top of each other but again remember you're gonna have to um, get rid of these areas in between so it doesn't show up like that that's how they they do it inside of um, you know Cartoon Network and stuff they get rid of the areas in between so it doesn't you know show up like that but again, this is not like something that I would usually draw. I'm, I'm sure you guys are like, that's a terrible hand or something. But yeah, this is just something to um, show you guys the pen tool. I mean, not the pen tool, the bone tool, that is. And you can also do this with legs and things. You know, if you got legs and you want your character to walk. Oops. Um, let's make another layer. Let's lock these layers. I'm on this other layer right here. Again, you're going to have to place everything on its own. Um, you want to make everything into a symbol. You just can't, you know, if you want it to look good, you're going to make it into a symbol. And I will have a um, tutorial on, you know, making a cartoon and things like that. Okay, and you're going to get the bone tool. Make sure, wait, you got to make sure to select that. I always, everybody always forget that you know the whole thing to make sure it's you know yeah grab the bone tool pull you know you hold down and pull let go come down remember this is all one image this is not you know split up into different um symbols and now I could bend it like that See, you can create your walk cycle, but I don't have it into symbols, so that's why you get that loop right there. But when if you have it all in symbols, it's going to look better. You know, you make your animations. So yeah, this is a quick tutorial on 
the bone tool and I hope I have enough time left you know and didn't go over the limit here but um yeah I mean it's a pretty good tool you can use it if you um have enough symbols you know um you're gonna do a lot of things with it so yeah um, this is your guy Davin the Geek. I'll have more tutorials. You can check out my channel. I have plenty of more tutorials on different things, you know, from computers into software. So yeah, this has been me. Please comment, rate, and subscribe. And I'm out of here.